atmosphere breathing electric propulsion, or air breathing electric propulsion, is a propulsion technology for spacecraft, which could allow thrust generation in low orbits without the need of on board propellant, by using residual gases in the atmosphere as propellant. Air breathing electric propulsion could make a new class of long lived, low orbiting missions feasible. The concept is currently investigated by the European Space Agency and the EU-funded Discoverer project. Current state-of-the-art conventional electric thrusters cannot maintain flight at low altitudes for any times longer than about two years, because of the limitation in propellant storage and in the amount of thrust generated, which force the spacecraft's orbit to decay. The European Space Agency officially announced the first successful RAM-EP prototype on ground demonstration in March 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Principle of operation An ABEP is basically composed by an intake and an electric thruster, rarefied gases which are responsible for drag in LEO and VLEO low and very low Earth orbit, are used as the propellant. This technology would ideally allow SCs to fly at very low orbits without the need of on-board propellant, allowing longer time missions in a new section of atmosphere's altitudes. This advantage makes the technology of interest for scientific missions as well as military and civil surveillance services. A special intake will be used to collect the gas molecules and direct them to the thruster while maintaining their velocity and pressure. The molecules will then be ionized by the thruster and expelled from the acceleration stage at a very high velocity, generating thrust. The electric power needed can be provided by the same power subsystems developed for the actual electric propulsion systems, likely a combination of solar arrays and batteries, though other kind of electric power subsystems can be considered. An ABEP could extend the lifetime of satellites in LEO and VLEO by compensating the atmospheric drag during their time of operation. The optimal altitude for an Earth-orbiting ABEP is approximately 200 km. This technology could also be utilized on other planets with an atmosphere and sufficient solar irradiation, such as Mars and Venus. <laughs> Concepts and testing ESA's RAM-EP, designed and developed by SITAEL in Italy, was first tested in laboratory in May 2017. The Institute of Space Systems at the University of Stuttgart is developing the intake and the thruster, the latter based on RF electrodeless technology, called the Inductive Plasma Thruster IPT, which has the main advantage of no electrodes that could be eroded by aggressive propellants, such as atomic oxygen in VLEO. This is done within the Discoverer EU H2020 project, BUSEC Co. Inc. in the U.S. patented their concept of an air-breathing Hall effect thruster ABHET in 2004, and with funding from the NASA Institute for Advanced Concepts, started in 2011 a feasibility study that would be applied to Mars Mars ABHET or MABHET, where the system would breath and ionize atmospheric carbon dioxide. 
The MABHET concept is based on the same general principles as JAXA's air-breathing ion engine or ESA's RAM-EP.